I've been a secretary, support staff, office manager for 32 years for the Department of Natural Resources. I've worked for the state for a couple of years longer and I love what I do because I deal with the public, I deal with my constituents, my office co-workers and some great bosses. In the 32 years that I've been working for the state, um, the equity, pay equity particularly, has been a big issue for female dominated classes within the departments. Pay equity came into being in about 1980, early 80s. Without the union, we would never have had pay equity. I would still be working for four or five dollars less per hour doing more responsible work than some of the men that were working with me on my crew. Luckily, in the state of Minnesota, pay equity came about by passing a law and without the union pushing for that and giving examples and testifying, that would never would have happened. We had to prove it. They were the ones that were there getting the documentation, taking care of the business and, and getting it finished and passed and we celebrate that. Thank goodness. And without it today, it would revert to where it was 35 years ago. Women are seen, have been seen, and are still being seen as the quote-unquote second income in a family. It's not true. It never was true. And I don't know why, but some people still think it's true. But we can't let that happen. Um, we can't revert to having women and women's work seen as less important, uh, less valuable, less responsible than a man's work. And right to work guts the union's ability to maintain a strong force legislatively and at a negotiating table. And we need that strength. We need those strong negotiators to say, that's wrong. We can't do it that way. We won't do it that way.